Part 2. Relationship between natural numbers. You will find this on page 4 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Okay, let's first revise factors, prime factors, multiples, lowest common multiple and highest common factor. Now, let's start with factors. A number that will divide exactly into a given number. So if I say the factors of 10, 1 can divide exactly, 2 can, 5 can, as well as 10. And to make sure you're not leaving one out, to see if you left any out, write as factor pairs. That means 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, let's go to prime factors. Factors of a number which are also prime numbers. So if I say the prime factors of 20, so first, before we answer that question, use the prime numbers as divisors. So write the 20 and start with the first prime number. So 20 divided by 2, that's 10. Continue with that 2. So 10 divided by 2, that's 5. 5 divide, okay, now can, can 3 divide? No, but 5 can. 5 divided by 5, that's 1. Always end with a 1. So now, if I say write down the prime factors of 20, it's just meaning what prime numbers did you use? You used 2 and you used 5. But if I say write down 20 as the product of its prime factors, it's meaning all that numbers. So then it's 2 times 2 times 5. That's in factor form or 2 to the power 2 times 5 that's in index notation. Okay. Multiples. The different timetables. So the multiples of 4 will be 4. I add 4 every time. That's 8 plus 4, 12 plus 4, 16 plus 4, 20. Okay. Lowest common multiple. The lowest number where the multiples of 2 or more numbers are the same. Now, the easy method is just to make use of multiples. That M stands for multiples. So take 6 and take 8 and write down the multiples. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 36. Write down the multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32. But now that L stands for the lowest. So what is the lowest common one? That will be 24. There will still be, but the lowest one will be 24. So write down the multiples of the two numbers and find the lowest common number. We will look at the other method, the prime factor method, when we come to page 92. And then the highest common factor, the highest number that can divide into the given number. So if I say the highest common factor of 16 and 24, now make use of factors. Write down the factors of 16. That's 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Write down the factors of 24. That's 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 6. Okay, 4, 4. So that's all the factors. And now no, you, you're going to write the highest common one. So 1 is common, 2 is common, 4 is common, but the highest common one will be 8. So write down the factors of the two numbers and find the highest one. And that will be 8. Okay. I want you to do for me example 1, example 2, example 3, example 4, and example 5. Stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Let's start with example 1. So find the factors of 20. Now, I do it like this. I make a bracket. I start with the first number. That's 1. So I say 20 divided by 1, and that will just be 20. And then I continue with the next number. 2 can divide because it's ending on a 0. So 20 divided by 2, that will be 10. Then can 3? No, because 2 plus 0 is 2, and 3 cannot go into 2. Can 4? Yes. And 20 divided by 4, what will that be? 5. And the factors of 20 will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, as well as 20. Okay. Now, number 2. Express 24 as the product of its prime factors. 
Now, can you remember? We said 24, and we make these little blocks. And don't forget that you use the prime numbers as dividers. And that will be 2, and the next one 3, and then 5, and then 7, and then 11, and so on. But start with 2. So 24 divided by 2, what will that be? 12. Continue with 2. So 12 divided by 2, 6. Again divide by 2. And then 3, and then go to the next one, 3, and continue the process until you have 1. So this will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. That's in factor form. Or 2 to the power of 3 times 3. That's in index notation. Okay, let's look at example 3. Write down the multiples of 6. So 6, um, add 6 every time. So then it's 12, add 6 again, 18, add 6 again, 24, add 6 again, 30, add 6 again, 36, and just make the three dots to show that it's continuing. Okay, then we're going to look at example 4. Find the lowest common multiple. Now remember the lowest common multiple and that's of 12 and 50. Now remember that M stands for multiple. So let's write down the multiples of 12. So if I'm writing, I'm going to get 24, 36, 40. I, I'm just adding 12 every time, 60, 72 and so on. Write down the multiples of 50. So that will be 30. That will be 45. And I think I can stop here at 60. Because I already see, can you see? Now remember that L stands for the lowest. And that C stands for common. So if you look at the lowest common one, what will that be? 60. So the lowest common multiple will be 60. <coughs> and then the, the next last one, let's just move up a little bit. Okay, the last one is the, okay, this is example 5, and it's going to be the highest common factor, and that's going to be of 16 and 48. Now, remember, we're going to use the easy method Listing method, factors. Okay, so write down the factors of 16. Now, if you write down the factors of 16, let's just look. It's 1. Okay, 16 divided by 1, that's 16. Then 2, 16 divided by 2, that's 8. Then 16 divided by 3, 16 divided by 4, that's going to work. And I think that's the final one. Let's just move up a little bit. Okay, 48 is having quite a few. So 1 and 48. Then 2 and 24. And then 3 and 16. And then 4 and 12. And then um, the last one. It's 6. Oh, my space, my space. Let's just rewrite this one. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. And this one was 48, 24, 16, 12. And I'm just going to clean... This one. Okay, now we can continue with that one. Okay, and then it can also divide by 6. And if it divides, 48 divided by 6, that will be 8. Okay, now you can look at the common ones. 1, 2, 4, um, as well as... 8, 
as well as 16. Now remember, I want the highest common one, not the lowest, the highest. And so the highest common factor will be the biggest one, and that will be 16. And that's the highest common factor of 16 and 48.